The Warriors Death lineup, or PTSD as some people are calling it, is a thing of nightmares. And as a disclaimer to Nuggets fans, we're going to review some of the performances from Game 1 and 2, address why this smaller lineup is so successful. But before we do that, be sure to leave a like to support the channel and sub for more content like this. When it comes to the four-man lineup of Paul Thompson, Steph, and Draymond, the funniest part about it is that we've only seen this lineup for less than 13 minutes. Because, as it's important to note, injuries have prevented us from seeing more of this lineup in the regular season. Nevertheless, it was the only thing that people could talk about after Game 2, and for good reason. In Game 2, Steph, Clay, and Poole combined for 84 points on 31 of 54 shooting and were 13 of 28 from 3. And Draymond, in typical fashion, was instrumental on both ends of the floor. I get that it's a really small sample size and against a Nuggets team that's void of amazing wing depth, but the PTSD lineup plus Wiggins has an offensive rating of 204.3, a defensive rating of 75, and a net rating of 129.3. How does that make any sense? When Steph, Wiggins, Draymond, Clay, and Poole have been on the floor together in this series, they've outscored the Nuggets 47 to 18 in just 10 minutes and 55 seconds together and went 7 for 8 from 3. How effective this lineup is doesn't come at a surprise given how lethal of a scoring threat that Steph and Clay are and how well Jordan Poole has emerged as essentially a third Splash Brother. And as you could imagine, trying to guard three players who are great off ball but also are sensational shooters obviously would be a difficult task for any team. It also helps that even by going small, the Warriors still have a big in Draymond that can handle the ball, initiate the offense, and make life very difficult for opposing big men to have to guard in space. Even though Jokic has definitely improved defensively this season, the Nuggets don't have the Boston Celtics personnel where they can just switch everything. Bigs are going to be put in a position where they have to prioritize protecting the paint or trying their hardest to roam the perimeter even though they might not be laterally gifted. And certainly, drop coverage certainly can't be used against this lineup given that four of the five players can hit a pull-up jumper. At that point, it's literally pick your poison from there on out. However, what has impressed me just as much about this lineup is their defensive versatility and how they have fared against the reigning MVP. Three of the aforementioned five in this lineup have good defensive reputations between Wiggins, Clay, and Draymond. And even though Steph doesn't have the greatest reputation as a one-on-one -on -one defender, he's always been a great team defender, and even in this series, has made it even more difficult for Denver's guards to feed Jokic the ball. Even when the ball does get to Jokic, Draymond does a great job trying to contain him despite being 6 inches shorter. Draymond actually does an excellent job using his 7-1 wingspan to contest Jokic's jumpers and makes it difficult for Jokic to receive the ball deep into the paint on passes. Additionally, Draymond's high IQ and keeping a lower and wider stance guarding post-up opportunities have also somewhat allowed him to limit Jokic's effectiveness. Additionally, it's the Warriors' awareness, movement, and constant communication on defense that allows them to move as a cohesive unit with this lineup. In general, it's hard to see the Nuggets realistically having any life in this series given how dynamic of an offense that the Warriors are. Even when things are seeming to go well, like the Nuggets leading 41-31 to 31 with 7 minutes left in the second quarter, the Warriors could just score 70 points in just under 20 minutes. With that being said, comment down below how you feel about this Warriors lineup, except you Denver fans. I mean, comment if you want to, it's a safe space. And also, comment down below how far you think the Warriors can go this postseason. Be sure to leave a like to support the channel, sub for more content like this, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Stay tuned.